Hi there, this is Abdullah Sheikh from Code Prime. Welcome to back to the another tutorial of Code Prime. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make an animated hamburger menu like this. You can see on my computer screens. On the left side, as the crossing icon, and this is very simple. And the right side, you can see an animated icon. So it was getting to very smooth animation transition with this affected here. So we are going to learn how we can make it. So let's get started. Okay, let's open my VS Code and you can see on my VS Code I have added some basic HTML and CSS file. So you can see the basic CSS and I have added this title and this style file we have connected. So we are going to see the preview on our browser. So let's type this body section here. First of all, I'm going to say some class name that is container menu and inside of this menu div sections. And inside of this we are going to add some spam here. So after that we are going to write CSS for the container. So we are going to make it the display flex. So let's type a display flex for this container box. We are going to make actually this we are going to that element it we are going to make it center into this our skin here so let's set this skin this for the center property for the display flex align item main hide and background so now we are going to copy this class name menu so let's type this menu for writing this css for this we're going to set this width and height is that it was going to the bakery equal this was getting the same and we're going to make a rectangle that is we're going to make a verb square related selection also and then we're going to make this background and we're going to set this border radius so you can see on my skin that it was we have created a bulk square here and then we are going to set the border radius because it was not working so we need to make a mistake here so we need to set it so now we are going to write this that menu so then we are going to set is div so for this div section we are going to write in css for this so here i'm going to make it position relative because for this span property we are going to apply for this absolute position so because of this we are only going to apply this absolute position there is was need for this your position relative so here we have set this for the div section color so that we can visibility where actually we are providing this per element where actually we can set this so we can see the visibilities so now we are going to write this for this span so let's type here this position absolute first because without absolute this will be not work so here we are going to set this width is 100 percent and height is 10 pixel and border radius we are going to set the border radius so here it can be visible here right now so now we need to remove this item from this span before so we need to copy it Make sure you have this write this your spelling is don't make your spelling mistakes so then it will be not work. So now we are going to make it for the visibility we need to set it for this background height. So here we can set here this for top and left so we can see this so that actually we can make this all item go to the center here. So we are going to make it transform translate minus 50% and minus 50%. So it will be x y direction so it will be make it center. So now we are going to add a class name that is on every span and we will copy and paste and we will be change this guy's class name that for 1 2 3. And then we are going to set for this menu and then we are going to type that class name bar 1. So we are going to set this all of this position here. So we are going to set is transform translate minus 50% and minus 50 pixel. So we are going to actually set this actually it was working or not. So we are going to set this that it was working here. So now we are going to set for this. Type for this bar 3. So it was added for this bar 3. We have set it this 50% and 40 pixel. So now we can set this because it's not working for the middle item here. So we need to set it property that we have made it three and we are going to say this one so now we have set this item here so now it was three of this bar is visible so now we're going to add a class name but we will add this class name by using that javascript so let's type for the javascript for this class name here so we are going to make first a variable menu and here we are going to add id in this menu sections so after adding this id that's why i'm going to add a menu one because we are going to two make make it two menu so there's first of all into variable equal and it will be element will be by id provided so now we have added this variable so now we're going to play this function for this so let's type this menu dot one click functions and it will be function will be play this function by when we have clicking this function so it will be play at us this class so that's class we have write it right now there's change between one so this class will be attached automatically from there and it will be make or directly from this class name it will be make auto remove and auto will be activate this class so now we're going to place this item for this bar one so now set this for the with this class name so now we are going to set a rotation here so it will be make it 40 minus 45 degree will be rotation here so you can see on this one we click on this icon this menu here so we have see that this it was successfully rotation here and we have to set this percentage of translate x and y direction so here we need to make it for this y that is the y we want to make this the third item of this third bar so this bar third we have set it so now we can see that the middle bar is it was working into this so we need to make it zero width so when we click on it so middle bar will be the zero with it so it will be totally removed from this property from there 
So you need to make a transition so that it can be smoothly play this our icon here. So you can add a transition on this transform that is 0.5 second and with this 0.5 second. So now you can see it was working very smoothly. So now we are going to make another navigation menu for this. So let's copy and paste this from this item. So now we have to change this value for this menu 1 and id 2. So menu id 2. So now we need to paste this all of this item we are going to make. For this list, we are going to apply the same CSS. So we are, we are just placing that another the class name and id just copy and paste it. So thus we are going to paste this for a span also. So here we can place it. So we have already successfully placed it. So maybe I have clicked some wrong. So let's remove this. Okay, now we can see that two section is here. So we need to set some margin into it. So for this two menu, we have you can see the main one and main property here. So I'm going to set a margin five pixels. So we can see there's some space inside of this. So now let's go to down here. So we can also make by this copy here. So here I'm just applying here this menu two for two menu. We are going to make a comment here. So you can apply here by directly. Okay, or we can also tie this property from the top also in this one sections. Here we can save this, the menu one, we can just copy and paste it. You can set this here, but it will be very difficult for you. So let me set it actually, I can do it very easily for it. It can be, make it exceptional. So let's separate. So we're going to place it one to separate in here. So menu one, menu two. So by this, we are going to copy and place it here. So we are going to first of all set by this here, that's the first look like there. So exactly the same look. And then we will be set this for the first medial bar. And first bar will be the 50% width. So now we are going to make it the left side. And then we are going to make this for the bar 2, bar 3, bar 2 will be the same. This is just places here. And bar 3 we are going to make it is also will be will be decreased this 50%. And left is auto. And then we are going to make it right is 0 so that its item goes to this in the right side. So then we are going to set a transform translate. So it was not working 100% 40 pixels. So we can check it by making some difference of the changing here so 20% it was getting little bit of good so let's set it zero it will be very smoothly it will be set in the center here so now let's set this the icon has already done so now we are going to applying for this another class name by using that javascript here this menu 2 class so we're going to apply this menu 2 so let's copy and paste it and change this all id number and menu we are just placing that 2 so that it will be the same content here so now we are going to apply this for the bar for this click functions. So let's for this have this sense bt and the bar one. So transfer and translate zero comma zero and dot it. It will be minus forty five degrees. So we have dotted that first bar and the second bar we are going to apply for this. So it was also we are going to make it fifty forty five degree. It will be rotated. So let's set here this some percentage and let's check it. It was okay now fifty percent. It was okay. So now let me set this for third bar. So we are going to make it 0, 0, 45. Okay, let's set the value for this minus. We can change this any value we can change here, and you can check out this which is actually working for your project details here. So we can check out this. And we're going to make this middle bar, we're going to make it center. And this third bar, we're going to set this hundred percent. It was okay, I think. Okay, minus 50%, it will be okay for this. So now it was successfully made it. So now we need to set this transform origin. Then it will be item will be fixed as we want. So transform first one and the transform two for this. So here we have set this hundred percent and fifty percent, and now we are going to set this hundred minus fifty percent here. So we can set it here exactly. It will be hundred percent and it was working here right now. So you can see that now it was successfully done. Now we can see that the full view about it. So you can check out this by clicking on this. Each of this animation is successfully working from here. So I hope you understand how actually we can do it. This animated hamburger menu. I hope you enjoyed this video, please like it and share and please subscribe and thanks for watching this video.